and I'm back. Or for those of you who have just um, had come in when the broadcast first started, I am here for the first time. I'm just looking at the broadcast on my other screen and it seems that I was live but not actually broadcasting at all. So let's start again. We'll do a take two on that because when technology works wonderfully, it works wonderfully. When it doesn't, it is something that uh, I can find incredibly frustrating but it is something that we need to learn to work with because there are no, um, this is a stuff that's outside of our control. So we can troubleshoot as much as we possibly can, but at, at the end of the day, we will we run with what we run with. So I was saying before, I've just changed my computer this morning and I have now got my laptop running and it's still there's a, still a few bugs in the system. However, we'll push on. It is Adair Palmer. Welcome to Friday Facebook Fix. The episode, this is another episode uh, that I run. Maybe I'm having an episode, but I run Friday Facebook Fix every Friday morning on my page, Social Media for Small Biz Owners, and I bring you things, little tips and tricks and hints and tools of things to do with your business on Facebook. So today I am... Uh, talking about collaboration and the power of collaboration on Facebook. I do have some, um, as is my want, neatly typed up notes. As you can see, they are never typed and they're never neat. But they are a, a, a few things to go by because otherwise I tend to uh, talk and go, look over there, look a squirrel or something shiny, and, and this will bring me back to focusing on what I want to speak to you today about. Now, I always invite guests onto Friday Facebook Fix and I put a link in the comments, which is down, down below here. You'll see the pinned post, uh, the pinned comment says, if you would like to, actually it says guests are welcome, click to join. And I have the lovely Pauline Hinks who has joined me and uh, today. So I will be bringing Pauline into the show a little bit later. Um, when I've shared with you just a little bit about this collaboration and we can have a conversation with Pauline as well. So Friday Facebook Fix, we are looking at, uh, and also if you want to come in, we can have actually up to 10 people in the lobby. We can have three people on the screen at the same time or two people on a screen share or, or photos. So it's pretty cool. Just a quick shout out to BeLive.tv. It is the platform that I'm using that enables me to do all these fancy things when I get broadcasting. Um, and uh, and the other beautiful thing about Be Live TV is you can just refresh your screen without losing the broadcast. So when I realised that I was actually not broadcasting, I just refreshed my screen. Pauline was still there and uh, or refreshed my browser rather. Pauline was still there and then I could come in and do the show like I normally do. So Be Live TV, brilliant. You can actually try that. I think it's a 14 day free try, trial. Just type in belive.tv and uh, it will take you, should take you to the page where you can click on sign up for your own 14 day free trial and try it out yourself. This is actually a beautiful segue into the, uh, what I, the topic of what I want to speak about because collaborating live um, is really the one of the best and fastest ways that you can use to actually get your presence out there on Facebook. Now, it's it's just amazing how I was listening to Karen, um, Karen Torma, Cor, Cor, uh, her last name is a hyphen name, Cor, Karen Torbman Glasson, and Joe's here from Rebel Web Solutions. Hey, hey, Joe, how are you doing? Collaboration leads to advocacy that leads to leads that leads to a result. Brilliant, brilliant. There's a one liner for that. That's Joe from, shout out to Joe from Murray Downs, Rebel Web Solutions. I love it the way Joe always pops in and says hi and he's, you've got my back. If there's any um, technical stuff, you've helped me out in the past and I really appreciate that too, Joe. That's awesome. And it is, you never know where this collaboration leads to. It's pretty amazing stuff. But I was listening to Stephen Healy and Karen Torman Glasson uh, today. They did a show overnight because Karen's in the US, Stephen's in the UK. And Karen, uh, shout out to you, Karen, because she's got, she's over 60, or she's turned, she was 60 this year, 
she's got a, a program called Little White Lie and she was saying uh, that it is absolutely the power as it's really inspired me to have a conversation with you today about about what we're doing here with social media for small biz owners and helping small businesses get exposure and get engagement um, and and more organic reach and, and well even paid reach as well for you and your businesses through your business page. So uh, Karen started, she was saying she started with you know 500 views on her live, she's a long time live, live broadcaster and so 500 views on her live videos and with a few tweaks and in the last 12 months she's increased that to around 13 thousand and the numbers are growing steadily really really interested to hear what she said if you do want to hear her um, interview with Stephen Healy head over to be live in five it's a page it's just called be live in five and it's um, I do a show over there once a week as well on that page but that is all around actually helping people um, to uh, get material to go live to work the platform it's it really is pretty amazing a great support community in the the be live community so karen was talking about the power of collaboration on your live videos and she was actually doing pretty much what i'm doing she was saying that the, the first so uh can't remember exactly but the first so many months she would go live by herself and then she started to interview people and, and bring other people on board and she said that was actually what increased her views exponentially so because if you're bringing somebody on uh, else on and I'll bring Pauline on shortly so don't go anywhere Pauline I can see you there hello just give me a wave <laughs> yes Pauline's in the green room and and when we've had a conversation, Pauline is probably uh, going to be inclined to, let me see, I've, I'm, I've still got my agenda, I can say, please share. And then, um, and, well, whoops, clicked it twice, I was only supposed to click it once. So please share this broadcast and then Pauline will go, yeah, I was on a broadcast, so I'll, I'll share it, I'm sure you will. <laughs> so, so that was what, uh, one of the things that Karen said was in her, secret source was actually getting people on interviewing people and it's expanded from there so her story about the little white lie is absolutely amazing to listen to i won't go into it now but it really is quite an amazing story about how she's built um built up a huge following purely from letting stop uh, not dyeing her hair so she's 60 this year and she's let her hair go white stop dyeing it um, get over to be live in five or, or just type in a little white light and uh, and check her out because she's she's great value so going live is one of the best ways that you can get people to get to know you get to trust you like you and get to trust you going live I think on um, uh, recorded video is good but live I think is best because you can interact with people, you can engage with people. And that's where you do find, I believe, the people that you can have the conversations. You never know where it's going to lead, which I think this is something that, um, and as I said before, you have guests on your show and then you can leverage that because your your guests, um, when, you, when you're live by yourself, you share to your networks, but if you have guests with you and people that you speak to, they'll share to theirs before uh, as well. So I did mention this before, but I think it's definitely something to uh, to think about and to. And I, and I know it's terrifying going live, and uh, I mean in this last week, I've got I do three shows a week now, and I'm I'm getting better at making sure doing all the troubleshooting beforehand and making sure that that the internet speeds right and, and and that I've got all the agenda set up and everything going. But even then, you can, like last night when I was doing a live webinar into my group, Facebook Code Breakers, um, my computer just shut itself. It just went, and that was it. 
and so this morning I got I've got my laptop out and I've, I've hooked all that up and it's still a, a little bit wonky but what I'm saying is if you do, like the, the technical side of going live and then there's the mindset side uh, of going live being consistent adding value it is something that will build over time so if you're terrified of doing it check out uh, Tony Everard in her group it's called uh, live uh, live video live I'll have to find it live video confidence for business owners live video confidence for business owners Tony Everard's group and she's uh, it's a safe environment where you can go live and in fact one of the things that I used to do and I do teach people where we have our workshops that you can actually go live just to yourself so you can just um, set a private thing and go live just to yourself and or you could go live um, into a group with just you and one other person in it if you set up a group you have to have two people in it to actually activate the group but you can go live with yourself and one other person in the group and then you can watch back and that was another tip that Karen had said this morning but I've also done that myself you can watch back that live and see where you can improve and how things are going for you but <clears throat> one of the biggest things is being consistent if you're consistently showing up people get to know that you're you're going to be at this time at this place you'll be and and they will they'll, they'll tune in and they will come along and uh, you get to collaborate and so I said with um, with Joe um, uh, from Rebel Web Solutions I know that um, uh, I, I love seeing him pop up and weighed in and we've and he's been live on my show as well and you know it's been it's been pretty cool getting to know you Joe that's awesome really enjoy that so being consistent showing up at the same time same bat time same bat channel and people will get to know that and they will another one that does lives is a girl called Nat Denman she's in um, a Dubai at the moment running some workshops but she started and she started with I reckon it might have been even phone a couple of years ago I was one of the first ones and I sort of hook into her stuff um, fairly regularly but she does a live every Monday morning on her in her group it's called the ultimate business support and because she's so regular you know that she's going to she's going to turn up she's going to be there and she's always got good stuff so I've you know, got a little note in my diary to hook into her stuff on a Monday morning because she's got some really good business stuff that she shares quite freely and willingly with everybody so she uh, gets herself out there and she uses the live to do she does have other people on and she has them on as guests as well and I do that as, um, on my my time to TV my time TV dot live which is a TV channel that I've set up and it's uh, slowly gaining momentum I do a regular show on there every day but uh, sorry every week but uh, I would love to have programs on there every single day every hour of every day is my ultimate my penultimate goal for that channel but uh, that I think is taking a little while and it will take a while to get momentum but it's being consi consistent and showing up every, all the time and will help people get to know you they'll get to uh, and partnerships come up opportunities to, coll to collaborate come up purely because you're there and you are at, and you're doing it I will bring Pauline in to say hello. I've got another little tip. I said I was going to share two tips with you, two ways that you can increase engagement on your page. I will we'll have a chat with Pauline first and then I will share with you the second way that I am um, uh, I have to actually get people to collaborate. So Pauline, hello. Hello. How are you? I'm really well. Yourself? I am well too. Lovely for you to join us. This is a really pleasant surprise. Thank you. Something I've never done before. Yeah, so, so. so is this the first time that you've jumped into a live broadcast? Um, 
I have been into an, in, on another live boy, broad, I can't even speak, broadcast and that was, I was being interviewed so it was quite, um, what you'd say, confronting and that was one that okay. was going to America as well at the time. So. so, so well, let's hope this isn't confronting. Just take a deep <laughs> breath and relax and we'll... <laughs> We'll have like a fireside chat. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. That sounds better. <laughs> yeah. So, Pauline, can you just, um, what, what piqued your interest when you saw that little link that said, uh, to guests are welcome, click here to join? Uh, what was going through your head? Well, one, it had um, good call to action type words, so uh, sort of inspiring me to have a look and see if there was anything good that I could get out of it because my business, I've been in business for over 50 years and I'm finding that everybody I've trained now is my opposition. <laughs> so um, whereas the only one in my, I, I'm a performing arts centre and when I was the only one in the area, I it was huge, it was unbelievable. But now that there's close on 30 performing arts centres within a, 15 kilometer radius um, and getting older I've sort of gone off the way to advertise and get people interacting with me and what brings attention so I thought learning about how to use the Facebook would be a better way of going about it all. Absolutely, absolutely. It's definitely the new world order and I find that I'm working with a lot of people who have come from a, they, they, they're either new to business and so new to the whole marketing, social media side of things and just marketing in general or they're um, seasoned business owners and this whole social media thing is like a big black hole <laughs> that it's like how do you navigate your way through it and how do you how do you actually maximize what you're doing here to get the most benefit um, out of what what you're actually doing and use it the best way so I just want to ask you you did say performing arts I know there's we're having a little um, issue with the audio you, you're sort of cutting in and out and I'm not sure whether that's your internet speeds or not but you could just share with us a little bit about what you do Pauline. Okay um, I train dancers mainly in the performing arts in um, ballet, jazz, tap, modern, um, drama and music and piano. Wow, so obviously I don't do it all myself. <laughs> <laughs> so you you run a, a performing arts school, is that what you're saying? That yeah. Okay, cool. And where are you located? I'm located in Norellan, which is out about forty um, kilometres out of Sydney. Okay, okay, so. My daughter's just moved from New South Wales back to Queensland, but she spent a year at, um, uh, well, it's near Newcastle, down the Auckland Way. So, yeah, yes, nice, nice. So, so you are um, you're saying that you are looking for what? What's your biggest thing? You're saying lots of competition now, yep. um, and your your biggest thing is getting people walking through the door. Yeah, it's a way to set us apart, to make us a choice. Um, at the moment, people are going for the cheapest rather than the best, which is often a problem. Um, and I can't mm -hmm. criticise that because if I can go and get something that I want from the hot dollar store rather than DJs, that's what I'll do. Um, so it's mm -hmm. got to be something that has an appeal to the people I'm seeking. Okay, so are you uh, are you seeing that there is a possibility of using 
Facebook to create a community and um, to get people involved and engaged and getting to know you. Yes, even what? if that, sorry. That's okay, keep going. Um, so even if they don't have children that want to learn dancing, they might have friends that are interested and we'll go, oh, I saw this lady on Facebook. You know, she. Mm -hmm. I, I've even, while you are talking, made a list of people that I could interview and use and mm -hmm. it's all um, kids that I've trained over the last 10 years that have made it professionally. So I've got a nice long list there, which I'd never realised how many there were. And I haven't been using well, it at all. Well, that's uh, fantastic because just having these these little nudges of inspiration, and I think that's what I was saying before listening to Karen speak this morning, I was getting so inspired by what she was saying and what she what she does. The the world is as as really a global community now, and even though you physically train people so they have to have a physical presence for you to to do what you do there is so much that you can do online that will add value to people and if you um, I'll get you to have a look at there's a guy who does this very cleverly he's called the singing dentist so when we when we hop off here just check out the singing dentist and what he'll see is he is a he, he's got a message that he wants to give to the world. He's got a, a physical practice where he practices, practices dentistry. But the things that he gives to the community on Facebook, he's got, you know, like a million followers on Facebook. Not all of them are going to be his customer. But he actually adds so much value to the lives of people when he makes being in the dentist chair like... Um, I was going to say sexy, but I don't think I could ever think of being in a dentist's chair sexy. But he actually does, he does something completely different that sort of shocks you out of your reverie and you go, wow, this guy, if I was in his area, I would go to him because of his, his such, I feel like I know him. I feel like he's, he communicates, he's funny, he's entertaining. And so... So he's built this huge following, and I, I can guarantee you that he never struggles for clients in his to sit in his dentist chair. So have a look at him. Take some inspiration from what he's doing because it is bigger than a physical footprint. Even though his location is, the, you have to be physically there to do dentistry on someone. He hasn't let that stop him from building a global following and getting his name out there oh God, i actually don't even know what his name is but i know he's called the singing dentist so that might get your artistic juices flowing so you'll be able to get some more ideas on ways that you can get your yourself um known in uh in cyberspace or in in face on facebook because there's people doing it very very creatively and very, very successfully because it is, um, oh, Mary's here. Oh, she's gorgeous. Love you, Mary. Hope you're feeling better. Um, <laughs> she's saying great inspiration there. So thanks, Mary. I just go, uh, and it's people like Mary that inspire me as well. Mary's got some beautiful talents that she could bring to the world, um, and uh, and I'm sure she will. Um, so well, she's already starting, so uh, so yes, so you can actually build your presence, and it doesn't have to be uh, physically, but it will flow back to that as well. The other thing is, it's not a linear path, so it's uh, it's a it's a path that's quite curvy, <laughs> uh, and it's not it's not if I do A, then B will happen. It's like if I do A, then C, D, F, G, H, whatever will happen. Uh, it's really the, the only two things are getting started and staying started, so being consistent because 
that's what I've found is, you know, like there's been times I've gotten up and I've gone, oh, I don't even know what I'm going to say. I don't feel like doing this. And then I go, well, I've made a commitment to myself uh, and to, to do this. And if there are people out there who want to hear what I have to say, then I need to show up because otherwise, you know, so it's being consistent. So making a decision, starting and being consistent. If you can do what you've done for 50 years, <laughs> Pauline, I think you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, funnily I had heard about the singing head. The, sorry, the singing head. You have heard him? Um, yeah. Because I got onto some iPod, um, no, what are they called? Speaking bits. Podcast. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Podcast. And um, he's been mentioned quite a bit by three or four different presenters on it. Yep. So I will. Yes. I'll because, have well, he's done something that sets him apart from every other dentist. Right. So, um, you know, like there's some people that you wouldn't recommend do that. Um, you know, I wouldn't use singing as a way to attract attention to myself because it's likely to be all negative attention. But Mary, however, this gorgeous lady, she has the voice of an angel. So, and she writes her own songs. <laughs> so, so did now, Pauline? Did you have any other comments or questions? So we're we're sort of running over time, but we started a couple of minutes late, and I do want to share the second way that collaboration, the second trick I have up my sleeve about collaboration that will help people get more engagement uh, and exposure on their business pages. So, um, no, go ahead with what you thought. I don't think I would. Beautiful. Well, thank you, Pauline. I'll pop you out of the broadcast now, but thank you so much for joining. Thank you for having the courage to just click on that link and coming in. And it's been a mate, like lovely meeting you, and yeah. uh, it's been a real delight. So I hope to see you again, um, the same time, <laughs> the same bad time, same bad channel uh, next Friday. But uh, thanks again, Pauline, and all the best. Keep in touch. I'd love to hear how you go. <laughs> all right, bye for now. Okay, so that was Pauline Hinks, and she does a um, she does she's in New South Wales, and she does singing and dancing and um, music lessons for performing arts. Pauline, you are welcome. I can see you're still in the lobby here. I can, you are welcome to put the link to your business page in the comments thread down below. So you can just link your business page there and give yourself a shout out here as well if you want. So thank you for popping in. I really do appreciate it. All right, so the next way, so I will share with you two ways. Now, the next way is to participate in programs that are like, and I run one on my social media for small business owners page. It's called Super Saturday. So it is a collaborative approach where people come to, the, this is, um, sorry, in a group, social media for small business owners group. And it is every Saturday morning I put up a post and it invites people to drop a link in the comments section underneath that main post. And what we do is then we like, comment and share on posts on each other's pages. Now, this is one of the biggest things that I think is going to get um, huge reach if you want it to and if you do it properly. Uh, I, I just a bit of a warning there. It does take time. It really does take time because what I encourage people to do is if you participate, to please give people the respect and the attention on their pages that you would like to have on yours. And when it works well, it works brilliantly. And what we see, that I've been running this now probably for about 18 months in my group. Sometimes we get one or two or three people just popping in. Sometimes we might have 15 or 20. Now, there's nearly 2,000 people in that group. And uh, so not everybody is going to see it as something that they're going to want to do. Some people go, well, they don't have time to do it. Now, 
if um, if you don't have a huge advertising budget or if you don't have an advertising budget at all and I know that there are many many small business owners out there out there that are just bootstrapping it and just are doing everything so it's either time or money really the advantage of doing this as a collaborative approach is that you you really do get to know other business owners now if you're consistent there's that word again be consistent always show up be consistent get involved go to people's pages and engage on their pages and ask questions and comment to other people's comments and get a conversation flowing because once that happens then facebook goes Oh look, they, they now Kim Gas calls it the self-licking ice cream. So the more engagement you have on your page, the more uh, Facebook will show it to people, and the less engagement you have on your page, the less Facebook will show that to people. So this a collaborative approach is about everybody giving as much as they possibly can to everybody else's pages, and then everybody else will come to your page and give to your page as well. The payoffs of this, if done over time and on a consistent basis, are huge. I've picked up, I've found um, uh, clients who have, you know, been participating in Super Saturday. I've referred people to people who are, um, are my friend David, um, David White, uh, he has D-Dubs Carpet Cleaning, and I've referred people to him because I and I've actually used him, he's picked me up as a client as well. Because I've been on his page, I've seen his work, and he lives locally, and I wanted to have my carpets cleaned. And he was the first person I thought of. And I'm going, well, he's if he didn't participate in uh, in this program, then I, I wouldn't know him from the next carpet cleaner, but he was front of mind when I wanted to have my carpets cleaned and if I see or hear of anybody who wants to have their carpets cleaned or their windows washed, Nick uh, Hancock, he does down south, he does window washing. So I, I've gotten to know these people and I've gotten to know them quite well because we are collaborating by helping each other uh, get exposure and get reach on our business pages. But the, uh, the other real benefit to that is we're getting to know other business owners and when we have a need for their services or we have someone who has that need that we know of we can without hesitation recommend those people because we know them we like them we trust them we've engaged with them so these sort of programs i think get us out of uh, our own isolation because we often we just work on our own business pages and we don't have a lot of time or energy for other people's business pages but I believe that if you put that time and energy into other people's pages and you bring to it a real sense of we're collaborating on this then you will get that back and you'll get it back tenfold you'll get it back fiftyfold it really is an amazing way um, to to get that uh, that interaction and engagement. Just another couple of quick words about that. When you are participating in those programs, you can uh, make sure that you've got decent comment on your page. Now, I do have quite a few social marketers, used to be called network marketers, but social marketers now who are on, um, who do participate in these programs. Some of them, not all of them, but some of them have all promotional product posts on their page and it makes it really hard to feel like that you are doing them justice or even sharing to your network. So if you do participate in these programs, have content on your page that people are going to want to see and to interact with. So things like that, things that benefit them. So it could be information. So if you are doing makeup or skincare, you could put tutorials on the page about how to how to clean your skin properly and just happen to use this product, but not having the product like in your face 
um, with prices and that type of thing because people really, that doesn't add value. Adding value is a tutorial on how to use the products. So that side of thing. The other way that you can, if you're going to participate, is do competitions, do contests. And then people love, because people think that there's going to be a payoff, a potential payoff. But if you do, just a word of caution, make sure that you look at the guidelines and always um, always follow the guidelines because although the, the risk is fairly small that you could get shut down, and uh, depending on the size of your competition as well, there are, uh, the Facebook has their guidelines of what you can and can't do, but also on uh, your state or your federal laws will pertain also to how you run competitions on Facebook. So just make sure that you are across what uh, those as well. So um, the other thing is, um, okay, I've got a thing. I've written a blog called Be a Dove, Not a Seagull, and being a seagull is when you just fly in and crap everywhere and then leave. And what I mean by that is if you are a, um, if you are, and then we all get stressed and we all get under pressure and we all get hurried, but just remember to pop a, um, just go in and liking someone's page or liking a couple of posts really isn't, like it might help, but it really isn't conducive to good engagement. So if you give that out, then it's likely um, that you'll get that back. But I'm, I'm challenging everybody who chooses to participate in these programs to actually give 100%, give 110%. You want to, if your goal is to make the person whose page you visit, you want to make them sit up and go, wow, that's really good stuff. So you can ask questions, you engage, you interact, you make them go, wow, that's really good stuff. I really appreciate that person visiting my page and interacting and engaging. Then you'll be front of mind. So keep focused on that. Now, we are running really over time here. I do want to just say that I am, uh, the, uh, like I mentioned at the front of the show, MyTimeTV.live is a TV channel that I've set up for small businesses who are interested in using their expertise and their knowledge and in a collaborative way. So the whole idea of this is to collaborate. So we get, you can, you get your own show, you can have your very own show for half an hour or an hour a week. You can also have it on your page, it doesn't really matter. But the, the idea about having one um, channel where we can get um, 20 people, 24 people if we're going to run it 24-7, who each have their show, we all share each other's, we all participate and engage in each other's shows as much as practical because, you know, if we're going to air at 2 o'clock in the morning, sometimes that's a bit hard. I'm with a community called Be Live in 5 and I do have a show, a weekly show with them and the whole idea is to get, uh, that's business to business, so it's all around helping businesses do live shows, live broadcasting on Facebook using the Be Live platform. But this is aimed at community. So if you're wanting to really get into a community, it's not for business for business, business to business. It's business to consumer. So what? Uh, if you're interested in uh, being interviewed on my show, you are welcome. If you've got something that you can um, share with your community or um, a community that's going to benefit them, and I can see there, it's sort of like a lifestyle thing. So I can see there would be things like, you know, even yoga classes or meditation or uh, even card readings. I think having card readings uh, would be really, really attract a lot of people. You could have gardening and cooking and comedy and depending on what your bent is, what you want to give to the community to enhance your own um, your own presence on Facebook and using a collaborative approach to get the word out there. This is something that I don't believe that I've seen before on Facebook and if it is out there, I'd love to know about it, but I think uh, it, I haven't seen it And uh, this in this particular design. 
I'm, I'm asking for people who are interested in being interviewed in the show. Um, uh, so, oh, okay, Pauline has gone Facebook. Um, let me say, oh, that is your, sorry, Pauline, that's your, um, <laughs> they've got several things going. It's like, wild squirrel. Um, Pauline's gone, Facebook is Appa MacArthur. So you've just popped it in the chat, the team chat box. So I'll just pop that here. Um, and if you could put it in the link below, below, not in the broadcast chat, that's a bit of a different thing. So let's just pop that there. And so I think I think I've put it in there. I think. And then we've got um, We've got Joe going, did someone say comedy? Yes. Yes, I'd love to get my son on having his show. We've got a page called Beloved Son, and I tell you what, we, we've got a lifetime of material there. Absolutely, why not? Why not? Cooking, gardening, finances. Uh, Stuart is a part of the Code Breakers. He could do uh, budgeting advice. There, whatever you see on TV, you could, we have got the capacity right here and right now to run our own shows and we are like we're doing it we're absolutely doing it um there is so much and this one is uh just pop that up here appa macarthur is pauline hinks's um facebook i think that's your business name pauline so um Yep, and she's also saying love today and we'll be back, but not every week as business can get in the way. That's a good thing, Pauline. Absolutely, it's a great thing. We want business to get in the way. We want you to be so damn busy that, that uh, there we go. Okay, so so that, um, now I totally forgot what I was saying. MyTimeTV.live, that TV channel is open now for if you want to be in, interviewed you, uh, I go live at this stage at 3 p.m. every Wednesday Australian Central uh, Daylight Time. Up above there is a link that says um, My Time TV interview applications. There is also another one if you want to have your own show. So there's two there. The top one, the top link is for if you want to be interviewed. The second link is if you want to have your own show. The, Comments in brackets tell you exactly what they're about. Feel free to click on those links, fill them out, and I'll get in touch with you and we can take it from there. On that note, I have run desperately over time. We are supposed to be in at the zoo at 11 o'clock, which is in a nanosecond here um, because it's my beautiful niece, Asha. It's her sixth birthday, and we are having a family day at the Adelaide Zoo. So I might send you some panda photos if the pandas come out to play today which is really cool it, uh, it's a little bit overcast we might get a bit of rain but I think it's going to be a great day to catch up with family as well so it's Friday Facebook fix I'm Adair Palmer I do look forward to seeing you next week at 9 30 a.m Australian Central Daylight Time on social media for small biz owners Remember to check out the links above. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. See you next week. Bye for now.